begins 10 years ago, a very long time, where I was still a fair maiden, uh, not anymore. SK Gaming. You might think, if you're a newer viewer, Goldberg, you might think, have they ever been successful? What do they do? Well, let me tell you this story. They used to be fantastic. They used to be a force to be reckoned with. Really scary to play against. In 2012, even led in the mid lane by... Listen, you're about to go to bed, so... I will leave some things out in order to not give you nightmares. Okay. So we're not gonna mention some big bad wolves. But all you need to know is that SK, they were one of the OGs, one of the big orgs back then. In fact, they were very, very good. And what is really a proof of different times, Fnatic were also really good. What, Fnatic yes. was good? And they played against each other in a rivalry called El Clasico. Yes. Well, uh, SK back then, they loved the regular season. Yeah. They loved it, but they couldn't quite win the trophy. It reminded me a little bit of, of Rogue back in 2020, 21. Yeah. But in 2014 and 2015, they really made people afraid of them. In fact, in 2014, they reached the World Championships. I love Worlds. Me too. Uh, and they also had an illustrious figure called God Gilius. Who? God, yes, exactly. God Gilius. Wow. Usually he got replaced, but now he got thrown onto the stage at Worlds 2014 and he had to play with Freddy122, with Jess's Candy Panda, and Rated. Do you wow. remember any of these names? It's a team of coaches. It is, actually. And they were in a group with some great teams like Starhorn Royal Club and the Taipei Assassins oh. and TSM. Oh. But it was doomed for SK, you know. Uh, Gilius had to step in. They all did it. They tried their best, but they had to go home. But you know what the most scary thing of all was? No. They had to go home, and they would never make it back to the World Championship. Sweet Goldberg, what does that teach us? We, we, uh, uh, we should win. Yes, never take anything for granted because it can be taken away from you like this. Anyways, after 2015, bad to worse, all the way to ninth place for SK Gaming. In fact, there was a thing called relegation, a thing of nightmares. And they didn't make it back because they lost against a team called Gamers 2. Wow, they were gamers? They were gamers too, wow. yeah. And SK, they wouldn't make it back until 2019, the start of the LEC. And it wasn't great then, their placement, six, six, seven, nine, five, six, 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 wow. anyways, That's nine, crazy. eight, but then fans saw a star twinkling high in the sky. They saw irrelevant Marcoon, Surtis, Exakick, and Doss. Wow. Five unlikely heroes, rejects, and rookies, all under the guidance of Prince Swiffer. And they battled, they fought, <gasps> and they got higher than sixth place. Oh. And now they have a chance to bring SK back to Korea, back to a chance to fight at Worlds. The last time was nine years ago, 3,287 days. Wow. And here's the kicker. Yeah. You know who's on their bench? You know who it is? Oh my God. Yes, it's, say, say his it, name. It, it's God Gilius. God Gilius is on the bench <gasps> again. Will that be a sign? Will it just be a relic? We don't know. But the lesson is, if you don't take what's in front of you right now, yes. it could take forever to get it back. Will it be a dream or a nightmare with the new SK? Hopefully you don't have nightmares. Yes. Good night. Oh, good Sleep night, well, Goldberg. Shocks.